guys, that's an alligator. It just went underwater. Shoot, holy crap. There are alligators out here, holy crap. What is up everybody? Today we are at a new lake. Um, today we are actually at Jefferson City Lake. And the reason I came all this way over here is because I've been hearing some things and looking at some online threads and apparently there are 10 pound bass in this lake. And I've been trying to get on a big bass for a while now. Um, I actually came over here maybe about two weeks ago and I actually had probably about a seven pounder on. And what happened was um, I literally got him to the shore and then it he snapped right in front of me. But the problem was that was actually a dark. Um, so the video camera couldn't see anything. So that's why I didn't actually publish that video. But right now it's the middle of the day and I'm just gonna fish till sunset. So uh, we're gonna get out there and see what happens. All right guys, so we just got here and uh, this is a little sign I guess it has. But uh, anyway, we're going up here and there's a little dam up here where uh, people were telling me this is where the big ones hang out and uh, we're gonna fish near this little dam for a while and uh, see what happens. Uh, last time I was here there's a guy claiming that he had a 13 pound bass stalking his lure. Now I don't know about 13 pounds but you know he made it sound like there's a huge bass over here. So uh, hopefully we can uh, see something like that. Now oh good okay so last time I was here guys there was bunch of um, weeds and stuff and you know I actually saw a snake come up here and stuff but it looks like they actually cut it so I can get down here a little bit better and fish all right well I'm just gonna start throwing right here for a little bit and then uh, you know we're gonna move move around the lake and see what happens there's more parking down there we're actually gonna move down there once it gets a little closer to uh, sunset and stuff but we just gonna start right here Now this is just a jerk bait that I have on right now. Alright guys, well I was not able to catch anything in this area quite yet. But uh, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to walk to the farthest point and, uh, you know, just make our way back. But uh, I totally forgot about this. This is like a little, like, I guess spillway thing. But um, I don't know how they expect people to get across it. You know, everybody just, I've seen just walks across it, but like... Yeah, since this is a park and stuff, like, I'm surprised that, like, there's, like, you know, really no way, I guess, to get across it from beyond just walking across it. Or walking through it. But this is going to soak. But this is going to get my, get me all wet. Yep, uh, yep, there we go. Ah, this sucks. They should at least have some sort of bridge. I mean, they might have one. I just don't know about it. Because basically, this thing just runs around the entire lake. So it doesn't make any sense. Um, but it's okay, I guess. It's, my shoes will dry out at some point. All right, guys. Well, I just got to our little area, I guess. Um, basically, we walked from all the way over here here and yeah, we're gonna fish on this side for a little bit and uh maybe go over there because i've been seeing a lot of bass blow up on that side just by walking over here um but it's super muddy out there so i don't really know what we'll be able to do and whatnot but we're just gonna start over here uh using the same jerk bait as earlier and the wind is actually gonna help us a little bit right now all right guys so i've been fishing over here for a while and probably about to swap my bait for something a little bit different but anyway you know i was thinking it was like you know these bass are in here but like you know they might not be like in plain sight i guess now you know they make these little like i guess land areas to come out and fish on but they have a little section over there that's like really hard to get to now those guys were able to manage to get over there but i'm wondering if like maybe the bigger bass hang out in those areas that are harder to get to because uh, I got that seven pound bass by, I was, I was standing on that platform right there and casting into those weeds over there. And that's how I got it. So I wonder if they, they're stacked more up on the weeds and stuff rather than on these, these areas with our, that are heavily fished. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab my backpack and we're going to go out in the woods and uh, hopefully make our way around. I don't know. Seems like it's going to be kind of hard. I mean, they were able to make it over there. I'm assuming there's some trails back there because 
you know, I think that there has to be a way to get over that water that I walked through earlier rather than going through it. That seems kind of stupid. So I'm assuming that maybe there's some trails back there that take you um, to a bridge or something. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go back here. Yeah, I think I see a trail right there actually. We're gonna walk around and see if we can get to that area over there. Yeah. All right, well, this is actually pretty cool. I didn't know that these trails existed or anything. Um, yeah, it looks like this takes you around the entire lake, which that is good. Very good. Just gotta make sure not to run into any snakes or anything. All right, well, we're gonna keep taking this trail back. Hopefully find an area to fish. Well, here we go. Yeah, just footprints and stuff. All right guys, well I fished this area for a while and it doesn't seem like it's producing that much. But I almost wanna get on that platform because it looks like it's not as like shallow over there. That means I might need to walk through the water which my shoes are already ruined, but I have another, I have some, um, it's kind of funny. I brought water shoes, but I forgot to throw them in my bag because I knew that I might get wet and stuff. But what I'm gonna do is actually come down here a little bit where it's a little bit more shallow and we're gonna try to walk across. Now the problem with this kind of stuff, the silt, it's actually a lot deeper than people think um, because when you put your weight in there, it sinks. Um, not all the time, but like the vast majority of the time. So we're just going to try to walk across. Actually, this stuff feels pretty solid. Okay, never mind. Like, uh, especially like triple mill and stuff, that's where I've seen it the worst. But, um, yeah, we're just going to walk across here. Maybe try to get on that shore. I don't really know because there's a lot of weeds and stuff. Probably not going to be able to access over there. But we can try over here for a little bit because this is our own little, like, mini island I guess and I'm sure not a lot of people fish on this particular area right here that's a butterfly I like geese geese dumpings I guess all right um let's see how this goes I'm just gonna continue with the jerk bait for a few more minutes and then swap it all right guys so what I decided to do was swap to this little uh, worm, I guess. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because this is what I caught that bass on last time I was here. So, and this is the general area of where it was. So I'm just going to throw this near the shore. Oops, wrong way. And basically we're just going to hop it off the bottom and stuff for a while. Oh, got a fish. Whoa. <laughs> look at that. Hey, guys, look at that. First fish of the day. Oh. That was quick. This is a... Uh, just a worm. I was hopping on the bottom. Now, all right, guys. Well, this is our first fish of the day. Man, that was fast. That was crazy. But a nice large mouth. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and let him go. Not the size we were looking for, but definitely what we wanted. God, I thought I was snagged on the branch. <laughs> oh my God, that's, that's crazy. We lost our worm though. But um, we're gonna put another one on there. I think I found what they're biting on. All right guys, well, I have everything packed up kind of, and we are gonna try to see where else we can go. Because it's not too deep necessarily through here, or maybe I could like get to that area, like walking across the water, like in the shallow area over here. I don't know how deep it is right there, but what I'm gonna do is try to see how we can get over there. Like, I mean, that's a lot of brush and stuff, but maybe I might be able to move it out of the way and stuff. But, uh, well, I'm gonna have to walk in the water anyway, so well, no reason to try to avoid it at this point. All right, guys, well, I fished this area for a little bit, but I am going to come back to it because I do think there probably are some bass in here. But they just might not be going after this. 
But we're gonna walk over here to this little island and we're gonna cast for a few minutes. Then we're gonna walk over there to that little nook fish and hopefully get another bass. Yeah, I'm to take All right guys, so we got back on this side and uh, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually going to um, go back to my car and actually rest for a little bit. Cause I'm kind of tired. Um, similar to what I did last time, but anyway, we're gonna come back here in maybe like an hour or something. We're just gonna chill out my car down the hill, come back up here for a little bit, fish this little corner for a while, and then we'll go back over to the other side and hopefully get a uh, big bass later tonight. All right, guys. Well, I am back out here now. Um, I actually took a little bit longer than an hour break. I ended up going to get some dinner at Subway. So I'm back. I'm just gonna throw some hard baits for a little bit and then we'll, um, we'll go on to the other side of the lake and hopefully get some um, big bass later. All right guys, well, this was not here last time. You guys see that? Um, so apparently there are alligators here. <laughs> But anyway, we're gonna go down here and fish and hopefully get in something. All right guys, so I'm gonna be throwing this little walker around um, just to see if there's any topwater action. Now that's really strange to have a alligator um, near here because you don't, you just don't expect that. But what I was thinking is like, dude, I was in the water earlier. <laughs> um, I was waiting like right there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of freaky to think about. There, there might've been alligators in here, but that's just something you'd never think about, especially like in this area. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to keep my eye out. Um, but anyway, I swapped the chest cam because soon it's gonna get dark and I have a headlamp and stuff. So if I do end up catching something, um, you guys will be able to see it. Oh, oh God. I think that was just a bass. All right guys, well, we just got almost eaten by a bass. So that means they're here and they're going after top water right now. All right guys, well I have the worm on right now. I think we're gonna stick to that for the rest of the night just because it's the thing that's been working the best. Uh, and it worked really good the other day around this time. I'm hoping these people are gonna move in a bit because I don't think they have flashlights or anything. We'll go over there and uh, see what fish are over there. All right, All right guys, so those uh, people left. So we're coming right here. Now this is actually where I did catch that, probably it's about seven pound bass. And we are literally using the same exact lure, same exact method. Hopefully we'll get some fish because guys, we've had I have one fish so far and I've had maybe like seven hits on different lures. I'm not sure if I'm gonna show them all or not, but yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I had one, I had one. Oh man, golly, they're biting. Man, I've had two now on this thing. All right, we just gotta let them hit it. Got one, there we go. There we go. All right guys, second bass of the day, the night bass. This is what we were looking for. All right guys. There we go, our second bass of the day. Let's let him go. All right, there he goes. Nice, healthy release. Guys, that's an alligator. It just went underwater. Shoot, holy crap. There are alligators out here, holy crap. I mean, yeah, that's a small one, but that's where I was standing like five hours ago. Like literally, I was standing right there. I'm gonna just like step back a little bit 
go. Yeah, I'm putting a knife in my, <laughs> my pocket. Guys, that is freaky, dude. That's not, that is not good. Like, I am not, I am not, need, like, yes, I know alligators in Georgia, but like, not in, or I'm in like, middle of Georgia, like, if you got, you guys, you guys can search this up. This is Jefferson Lake, and this is in Georgia. Like, I am nowhere near the coast. God, that, that, that's freaky, dude. All right, there we go. I know you guys can't see it too much better, but those are the eyes right there. Now, I don't know how you guys can see this on the GoPro or not, but I just wanted to show you guys. This is what it looks like. Um, I know you guys can't tell, but there are two eyes. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. Uh, let's see. Come on. Right, now, you guys can't tell. But, yeah, that's the alligator. He keeps popping his head up for a while, and then we'll go back underwater. Um, I don't Guys, but like that's bad. Like, like I said earlier, like l last time I was here, that alligator sign was not there. Um, so something happened between the like four weeks or three weeks ago and now. But there are alligators in here, which is not 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 very um. What's the word? Comforting. I mean, there's someone right. I mean, there's people here. They, they have, just haven't left yet, I guess. But yeah, there, there's an alligator here. Just have to keep my head on a swivel. I mean, they're probably not. Oh, oh God, I had another hit. Uh, I mean, like I said, they're probably not going to. That one was like super small. But like, that's creepy. Oh, eyes right back. Eyes are back. You guys see him? Eyes are back. That alligator's right there. That's, that's weird. I don't know if I should call this in or what, because I need to read that sign. Cause like they, they know there's an alligator in here, but like I'm, it's literally right in front of me. Cool. Okay, that scared me. Um, guys, like I know this is a small alligator, but like, what if there's something bigger in here? Like, now I'm freaking out every time I hear a fish, or I hope that's a fish. Like, like these things might, like this might have been just alligators the entire time. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I've been thinking I've been hearing fish and stuff. Oh, gone, right there. He just went under. You guys see that? All right, I'm gonna give it like 10 more minutes because I'm not getting any more hits. All right, guys, so I'm back in my car now, and this isn't the end of the video, because tomorrow I'm going to do some research, uh, and yeah, I'm sure you're supposed to report something like that, so officials know that there are alligators. I mean, I know that they know there are, is an alligator in here. Maybe, you know, by showing them something, it might help them. I'm not too sure. But anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow, and uh, I'll let you guys know what I find out. All right, guys, so I just got off the phone with the Georgia Department of Natural Resources, and uh, basically I just told them what was going on. Now, since they already knew that there was an alligator there, you know, it wasn't a surprise. I just told them what happened, and, you know, they're, they're going to go off of there. But uh, anyway, you know, we're back. We made it alive. <laughs> but that was kind of freaky last night. But, you know, the thing is, that kind of stuff does happen. You know, either most likely someone had an uh, alligator as like a classroom pet or something got a little too big and they uh, let it go but you don't really know so that, that's why I was always keeping my head that's why last night I was keeping my head on a swivel because you know there could have been big ones out there you know I'm not too sure um, exactly where this thing came from anyway yesterday we caught two nice bass um, which you know was really good I was but what surprised me the most was that the fact after the Sun went down I got a lot more bites than I did the entire um, like six hours earlier I'd been at the lake um, so that's really interesting so that shows me that you know maybe these fish only really like to bite at night which that's okay we'll, we'll go back you know I have my headlamp and stuff um, but maybe that's just interesting. But, um, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. We have some cool stuff coming up in the next few weeks and, uh, hopefully have some cool fishing content. So, uh, I will see you guys next week.